Hey YouTubers, got another video review slash DIY video for you today. And uh, last week uh, I got my HVAC unit replaced with a new Goodman unit. And I couldn't be happier. This thing is uh, a lot quieter and I uh, shouldn't have to worry about this thing for many years. And so I just wanted to show you uh, one of the steps that needed to be done and in the installation that my buddy who installed the unit, he was like, man, you can do this yourself. Uh, you don't need to pay me to do it. And uh, I said, okay, yeah, I'm all about saving a little money. So he was like, uh, do you see the uh, lines coming out of the block there? And I said, yes. And he said, well, you've got a cold line, which is the thicker piece of copper. And if you put your hand up to it, you'll notice it's really cold. And then you've got a power wire coming out to go to the unit. I guess that goes to your thermostat or whatever. And then you have a hot line, which is this one here. And uh, they both go right down here to these little service ports and they hook into the unit. I'm not gonna get into trying to explain HVAC because I'm not an HVAC guy, but I have enough common sense to come out here and know what needs replacing. As you can see, the old uh, line had this uh, foam on it and you can see it's completely deteriorated. The reason you want to keep this foam in good shape is because this is a cool line right here so the cooler that you keep that line the more efficient your compressor is not going to have to to work. I'm sure you're sitting there thinking well you know that's that's not no big deal. Well it is on a hot day when you've got uh, when you're trying to cool it and you know, you've got the sun beating down on it. You know, it's just not good. Plus, right here, uh, you can see where it's right up against the uh, the block. Well, over time, uh, it's eventually gonna sit there and rub through vibration, and it could rub a hole in the copper tube right here. It could cut into this line right here. It could cut into that line, uh, since that concrete is rough in there, so we need to take care of that. So I don't have to replace that at a later date. So anyways, he told me to go out and get some of uh, this rubber foam from the store. Go ahead and, and uh, put it over this, this line right here and right here for this, this uh, power wire. I'm going to take it a step further and I've got some wire loom, some real small wire loom that's going to go over that power wire so there's no chance that it's going to cut into the jacket there on that wire and cause a frayed line or rodents could chew on it or whatever. And then... Uh, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with this this hot line here to keep it from rubbing I'll probably put a piece of wire loom or something over top of that to protect it as well And then I've got a new product for you at the end of this video once I get everything all Tucked up nice and neat and squared away. So stay tuned. All right guys as you can see I've got the uh, wire loom over that wire and I've got it pushed back up in there a little ways And then I've got it all the way up to the bottom of the unit there uh, with that loom on there. So, you know, it's going to protect it if there's any kind of rodents or anything, uh, you know, chewing on it. Uh, it'll it'll protect it a little bit, you know, keep it, if he wants to hit it with a weed whacker or something, it's not going to tear into it as easily. And uh, I'm going to secure it even further. Uh, so, also, I'm fixing to go ahead, like I said, and, and uh, put that insulation over that refrigerant line, that half inch line there, or three quarter inch line. And you can see there's condensation on the bottom of that line. And one reason why you want to go ahead and uh, put insulation on that that uh, piece of tubing there is because uh, what happens is is condensation will a form on that uh, line right there, and it'll go into your house, get behind that wall there, and uh, it'll cause stains on your drywall if you don't insulate it. That's why I'm going to go ahead and wrap it and get it all. Uh, cleaned up and and plus it just looks better and uh, when I'm done uh, I'm gonna show you the new product at the end and uh, we're gonna wrap it up and uh, you're gonna be really impressed with the way that it looks and the way that it performs as you can see I've got everything all nicely uh, wrapped up and uh, I've got this uh, first electrical wire wrapped in wire loom and then I've got it coming down right here and it's tied to the uh, the three-quarter inch copper tubing and I've got this rubber insulation 
over the top of it and then for the hot line I decided to take some larger wire loom just to go over it and make it look better and uh, you know if somebody was to you know hit it or something it be a little bit of protection not much but let's say a rock or something come up off the weed whacker or lawnmower it might help it keep from uh, putting a hole or a crack in that uh, copper tubing because it is soft again I went ahead and wrapped everything in that rubber insulation and uh, you know I know that you're supposed to put uh, electrical tape over it but I just left uh, Home Depot and uh, for the HVAC tape uh, it's pretty much just a wide electrical tape it's about two inches wide like duct tape it was like seven almost eight dollars and I thought you know what I'll just use some zip ties and, or electrical tape and I thought well you know what it'll be easier just to put some zip ties on it and you can see that I don't have them compressed down it can still move nothing's gonna rub and then I made sure to make sure the glue joints with that glue tape uh, that runs along the seam I made sure to mash everything down real good the zip ties are just a little bit of added protection and then me being the goofy kind of guy that I am I went ahead and put it went a step further and I notched out a piece of uh, foam that I had and put uh, right here around that fitting and I left the service port right here open and all you have to do to to remove this little foam uh, Cap that I've made right here is just cut this zip tie and it pulls out and you can get to the cap right there to uh, Fill it up or whatever. So anyways um, I think it looks a lot neater But I'm gonna take it a step further and right in here. I put some of that expand a foam great stuff I know you guys are familiar with that stuff everybody is and it's like three bucks at Home Depot or four bucks and then I just filled that that gap in there on the top and bottom and made sure uh, there was no areas where bugs or mice or or air uh, could get in there very easily and once this dries I'll go back tomorrow and uh, cut it off flush and then uh, I'll put my new product on there that I've been telling you guys about in the beginning of the video So so thanks for watching and stay tuned All right guys uh, before I show you the new product um, I, I wanted to, to uh, tell you exactly what kind of insulation you want to get uh, to wrap uh, those copper lines going in and and out of uh, the HVAC unit and uh, what you want to get is this soft uh, rubber uh, piece of uh, insulation and you want to get the one that's split down the side with the tape right in here and what you want to do is just peel peel that uh, tape off and then slide it over the uh, over the uh, copper tubing and that way that pipe is insulated now don't be tempted to cheap out and get the the, the cheaper uh, foam uh, insulation because it doesn't have a tape on it one so it's not going to stay all nice and sealed up you'll have to put some tape around it but then it do just doesn't do as good of a job as uh, the rubber and I know this deteriorates really bad in the Sun all right well this here is the air -X pro system kit and uh, you know I'm gonna be able to use some of this kit not all of the kit uh, some of this kit has to be installed whenever you you have your new HVAC unit put in so uh, I'm gonna show you right here on the box just for simplicity uh, how this how this all works so right in here you can see that they've got a piece of that rubber uh, insulation around the the tube and then there is a wrap that goes around it and I have some of that wrap right in here it's uh it's a nice uh, rubbery feeling wrap it comes in black or white and uh, it has uh, velcro on the side of it it's got the velcro uh, actually on this side and then there's velcro on this side so when you curl it around the insulation uh, you can just velcro itself uh, to itself and uh, you know it stays around the the pipe like as shown right here it provides a good insulation plus it also uh, is a, a UV uh, protector for that that uh, that piece of insulation in there and it just looks nicer and I can go ahead and tell you that um, it, it is gonna save you some on your electric bill probably not substantially but 
you know, by the time, uh, let's say you don't have uh, any insulation over the copper tubing, then, uh, you know, you're, you're losing money. By, by that way, your air conditioner is not going to be as efficient because it needs that line to stay nice and cold. And so, and then when you put this uh, wrap over top of it, uh, it's just another added layer of protection. And this stuff looks to be like about an eighth of an inch thick. So it is pretty thick and uh, it's going to provide another uh, layer of insulation as well. They also have another uh, product and I've got one here. And what this is, is like I was talking about earlier, this uh, installs on the wall. Uh, before your HVAC unit gets uh, installed and you have your your lines coming out right here 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 it is right here and so what this does is this uh, has like a, a foam backing uh, plate on it and uh, you know basically just seals seals it up where no air really can get in and uh, prevents bugs and mice spiders and all, all kinds of stuff from from getting in and uh, you know making its way into your house and they they provide you with uh, the the mountain screws and Loctite and hose clamp and instructions. And they've got different types of these mounts for uh, different uh, installations. So you can check out their website, but uh, too bad you can't uh, put this on after the unit's already been installed. That would be nice if there was a way for them to uh, make one that has a, a split right down uh, the middle and that way you could kind of twist it over the uh, unit that's already there and then and then once once it's already installed then you want to take that wrap uh, the wrap that I have right here and then you, you know you'll have your your copper lines coming out right here and then you take that wrap and go around it and so it seals everything up and uh, it just looks nice and neat I wish I'd have had my HVAC guy uh, Put this on uh, i just didn't know about it at the time but uh, i think it, it makes the insula installation just look so much nicer appreciate you watching the video i'm going to take you over here and uh, show you how i've got mine installed you can see right here in the first part of the video i showed you at the end where i took the uh the foam and squirted in there and then i come back the next day and uh trimmed it off and then I went back with that uh, Airx uh, wrap, and I wrapped the uh, the pipe. And I know you guys are saying, "Oh yeah, you overkilled it. You shouldn't have put that uh, that corrugated tubing or whatever that stuff is around those lines." But as you can see right here, where you've got the ports, the service ports. There's one there. There's one there. There's one there. Uh, I trimmed it out and and made a little slice in the uh, in the wrap so uh, it could stick through. Now right in here, I had to cut this because this uh, this hot line uh, split away and went into the unit and the cold line went in the other side, so I had to make a little split in it. So I just wanted to make sure that the cold line was was uh, cold. And so, you know, when your technician uh, comes to service the unit, uh, if he has to get in there to do any repairs to that line, all he has to do is just pull this pull this up it's really simple it's velcro so it just rips off and uh, you can replace it and, and it's no big deal but uh, like I said I wished I was able to use that wall plate it would have made for such a nice uh, looking installation but uh, you know didn't know about the product at that time and just happened to do a little research on it and so uh, you don't have to install it I think I've got it sealed up pretty well with all the stuff that I've done you know, uh, by replacing the new unit, by wrapping the the uh, HVAC lines and uh, insulating them real well and keeping the, the filters changed. You're not going to get like a hundred dollar savings every month, but you know, it can it can really cut it down 20, 30 bucks. You know, I'm sure if you uh, if you uh, keep up with the maintenance and, and keep everything insulated and and, you know, keep those filters changed, you know, you'd be surprised. Uh, how much a, a unit like this costs cost to run. So, plus it's the, the newer unit, so it's more efficient as well. So, anyways, I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, make sure you check out AirX. I'll put a link to their website in the description. And again, this is the AirX 
pro system kit so anyways appreciate you guys watching and uh, y'all have a good one please like and subscribe to the channel 